What's the largest amount of cash currency you've held in your hands? What's the story behind it? 25k. Did a little database app for a guy. And when it was done. He says do you take cash? Was in 20s. I felt like Pablo Escobar walking out of my car with it. $150k. Holiday weekend popular paycheck cashing day. $82,000 US dollars. I had a very very good 19 hours on a poker table. $67 K. Yes. One strand of pearls. The paperwork involved was more annoying than counting the cash. $7,000. I was trying to transfer my account from one bank to another. But these duckers wouldn't allow to make the transfer or even give me a check for my own money. Without a $25 fee, they want to be petty, I can be petty too. The fee didn't apply to cash withdrawal so I had them give me the entire account in cash. I had $12k in cash at the back of my sock drawer at one point. Early on, the weed industry in Colorado had problems going through banks, so employees were paid in cash. I was living cheap and saving up for either a car or a down payment on a house. I ended up going with the car. No affordable houses in Denver. Prices went up faster than I could save. About $10. Zero US dollars. We have a family business. So counting money and getting it ready for deposit is a thing. And this was in the days before credit cards were most of the transactions. $264. Five hundred Canadian dollars, then about two hundred K USD. Semicolon. That was the surplus cash we were shipping out of the bank on a particular day. I was a bank teller, and we could only keep up to X amount on hand in the branch by the end of the day. My job was to put the cash into a bag and seal it up. I remember it being surprisingly heavy. About thirteen dollars. 000 I run a disc golf tournament and like to deal in cash. $20 000 Worked at a bank and had to carry it outside to refill the ATM. I was quite poor at the time and it took every ounce of my willpower to not just run away with it. It was about $5. Zero US dollars. Finally the moving company said our stuff had arrived and since it had been delayed. They would do the delivery on Sunday. Which they don't normally do. The guys arrive with the truck and ask how we were going to pay. Credit card. They say their office isn't open on Sunday so they can't process it. Check. Same thing. No way to verify. So basically cash was the only option. It was Sunday so the banks were closed. We ended up finding a grocery store in a sketchy part of town that had a Western Union and enough cash on hand that we wired the money. I've never walked back to my car more quickly. We could have just waited until Monday. But try to telling that to your wife who can see the mattress in the truck after sleeping on the floor for 10 days. Sold my Subaru STI and the guy paid in cash was a high-ish ranking Air Force dude who got some big severance deal when he was done from serving. So long. And he bought a Subaru with it. $24. 500 in cash. About $120. Zero Australian dollars. I was doing the handover for an arm a good cash pickup from my work. $300. Bought a used Ford Explorer in cash. About 10 pounds. 000. 13000. Back when I worked closing shifts in a supermarket while at school and would have to help the manager deposit all the money in the safe at the end of the shift. That really trips me out is that I currently the same amount in a savings account. But I will never see the physical money for it. It will remain just numbers on a screen until it gets used as part of buying a bigger house or something. How detached we are from physical money these days is unsettling.
I didn't get to hold it but I was in the room with it. I worked for a commercial security installation company and was contracted by Brink's armored truck company to install new equipment in their new vault. We had installed all of their equipment when they first bought this building but they added a second vault. Our control panels were inside the first vault along with $26.000 000 and $20 S on a pallet in the middle of the vault. It was the most uncomfortable work environment I've ever been in. Since we were not vetted employees or brinks, each of us had our own guard with a shotgun watching our every move. On a side note they had a big fenced off area called the coin cage with about $3.000 and change. It was one of the worst smelling rooms I've been in. A few years ago whilst staying with a boyfriend I'd met some months before. I was helping him with his admin and asked where paper for the printer was and and he shouted. Right drawer of desk. I opened right drawer as he started to shout left. Left. Mean left. Too late. The right drawer was open and it was full of bundles of 100 pounds notes money stuffed in. Plastic bags. I picked some bags up and walked into front room laughing and admitted I'd opened the wrong drawer. I knew he owned property but it turned out he owned 64 properties and had just sold 32 properties. To another landlord that week and some of the deal was done in cash. There was easily 100 pounds. 000 in there. Easily. $1400 bucks approximately. I was so stressed out walking from the bank to my new apartment to pay my landlord. And amp. X200B. Thank god we now use e-transfer. Roughly 1. 2 million in cash. I sent as much as the movies portray it to be. 12 bricks of 100s will fit in a bag pretty easily. I worked at Bank of America for 10 years and was at a busy branch that dealt with tons of cash. Used to have an ATM company come in weekly and deposit 200k and up in 20s. $20. 580. I held a monopoly game. Nice try. IRS. 15. 000. My old roommate and I were selling weed and ecstasy. About half the cash was mine. We put ours together to take pics to flex on my space lol we never got super rich of it. Just enough to party every weekend. I miss those days cause now I work my ass off for $800 a week. 250k USD. Not as much cash as you would think of it's in 100s. Worked in the concert industry for a large promoter. For shows we would have a cash float we would take along. This would cover some night off show expenses that needed to be paid in cash stuff that runners got. For dressing rooms. Small equipment. ETC. Also tours like to be paid in cash. They're on the road for weeks at a time. We would write them their settlement check for the show. They would sign it back over to us. We would give them the cash. Could be anything from 2k to 100k depending on the show. I did write a 500k check to a comedian that sold out a stadium. That was wild. 72k. My dad was buying a car off a friend and I dropped the cash off for him. My dad was a wholesaler for contractors and during the recession that shit was CODBC you didn't. Know if their company was going to be around to invoice or if their check would clear. Hence having that much cash at a time. I worked for a bank for exactly one day. It was my very first. And last. Day and as part of my training they handed me $50k to take to another building two blocks over. By foot. By myself. I quit at the end of that day for unrelated reasons. But that was very weird of them. I didn't hold it but I touched one pound. 000, 000, 000, 000 in gold at some precious metal place in the south of England. $10. 000. My sister needed some money fast. And cash was the quickest way to get it to her. $10. 000. Worked my ass off for it.
one of my proudest moments. 38.0 Canadian dollars. We did a large landscaping job for a guy who I'm pretty sure was a drug dealer. Paid in cash. Guarantee the boss didn't pay taxes on it. Shockingly heavy.